Hi colleagues for picking up on this recording uh, on what is my first day as the Chief Executive of NHS National Services Scotland and more importantly your Chief Executive. Um, it's, uh, it, it's amazing that I'm speaking to you today because I have been in a period of transition and a period of learning and suddenly those L plates are completely gone um, and I need to step forward um, with some excitement and enthusiasm into the chief executive role. I, I am responsible now and accountable for the services that we deliver and for the money that we spend. But more importantly to me is that my job is about making your job easier, your job in providing frontline services, either directly to supporting um, patient care or perhaps what you see as less directly supporting others delivering care at the front line. Many of you will have known me from the previous roles I've filled within um, National Services Scotland. Um, I've worked here since 2008, um, initially as the Director of Health Protection Scotland, so our, our high colleagues um, uh, will, will remember me. Um, and then as the director of the Scottish National Blood Transfusion Service, um, and then uh, as the director of Strategy, Performance and Service Transformation. So many of you, as I've said, will, will know me very well, and many of you will have um, linked up with me throughout my years of service in NSS and will know me um, quite well. Some of you Many of you will have only recently joined us throughout this past year of the pandemic, and we're very grateful to you um, for coming along to help us in, in our uh, response to, to the pandemic and to support our teams in that regard. And I look forward to meeting um, you in person as soon as the, the situation with the pandemic actually allows. My career obviously goes back further than, than when I joined um, NSS and I have my roots in the health service from quite some time ago as a nurse and then as a ward sister in the Western Infirmary in Glasgow before I moved into Paisley to manage acute hospital services um, alongside some community and primary care uh, services like GP out of hours for example. Um, I also uh, then worked across emergency care and medicine um, in Greater Glasgow and Clyde uh, before joining um, NSS. It's interesting to me and, and one of the things that I've observed is how the past can catch up with you. So in my role as Chief Executive, one of the, the things that I have done is taken on or inherited some of the chairs of na chairing of national groups from Colin Sinclair. Um, uh, but one of the ones that I have taken on board is chair of the, the Scottish Trauma Network. Um, and I'm struck by how what I've learned in the past and in previous roles is, is joining to make life perhaps a little bit more known to me as a chief executive, something that I can align to and something that um, I have understood a little bit of because Coming into a new job, in a new role, even though I know the organisation and even though I know some of the, the history and I have spent a long time in the health service, is actually quite daunting because, believe it or not, um, I am quite human uh, and feel all the same nerves that people must feel when they are joining new roles and being new to the organisation. So I do ask you to, to be kind to me um, if I make mistakes because... Um, humans do make mistakes um, and also um, I'm very keen to hear from you what it is that you would like to see from your chief executive. What's important to you about how we work together? Um, is there anything that you would like to see done differently and if so what do you think I can do to help that happen to make your life um, easier and better in the workplace and also at home? So please um, don't hesitate to get in touch with me uh, and uh, I hope that you will um, enjoy seeing future recordings from me uh, uh, and help me to become more visible. Thank you. So I, I'm, um, I have a, just a little bit about Mary who's the, the person, the, the non-work person. Um, I'm married. 
Um, my uh, husband um, is still working. He's an electronic engineer. We have a son together who is 31 years old. Um, he's married to Fran and just in the, the just about a year ago, just under a year ago, um, they had a baby daughter. So I have a grand baby daughter um, who's not quite a year old and I'm just really hoping that um, we'll be able to travel to England uh, in order that I can celebrate her first birthday um, uh, around the middle of June. That would be a really fantastic COVID anniversary present because uh, we haven't been able to see her. Um, Outside of work, actually, the past year, interestingly, I haven't done anything very much. Um, that's a bit surprising, but I think we've all been in that boat um, of having to stay home and not go visiting um, and not going out terribly much. Um, my Zumba classes that I love have all been um, cancelled and laid to one side. And I have not been great at doing the online classes that so many people are telling me that they do all of the time. Um, I we usually master and I usually go holidays to the sun um, quite frequently. Um, I, uh, I we do enjoy the sunshine and we don't get a lot of that in this country. But of course, that's also all been laid to one side over the past year. So I'm really looking forward to being able to really take a break and enjoy a break from work. Um, and get some sunshine um, in Spain or, or the Canary Islands. Um, and I also really enjoy eating out and I'm really looking forward to restaurants and pubs opening back up again um, and not having to go and collect a, a, or have a takeaway delivered um, frequently for, for eating because I do quite enjoy that. So, so yeah, that's all good. Um, I've, I also have, we have, we have a, I'm also a carer um, my stepmother, unfortunately, was diagnosed in the past year with dementia um, and she's requiring quite a lot of support. So I do spend a bit of time providing care and help and support to, to Jan, um, who has some needs. But that seems to be um, in a bit of a better place just now since I moved her closer to, uh, to me. So that's good. But I really look forward to working with, with everybody. Um, no matter what the, the role is. Hierarchy is something that um, I don't do terribly well. So I know that I'm the chief executive, but I'd much rather be a, a friend, a colleague and a co-worker um, to all those across NSS and the NHS in Scotland.